What's up guys, this is the Riverman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the United States. So to round off where we left off, we are assaulting the Persian capital of Esfahan with the glorious First Delaware leading the charge. We do have lots of troops in reinforcement, so I like our chances, but without further ado, actually I might want to scoot it to be these guys because these will be the guys I need. Just solid line infantry, that's what you need more than anything. Cool. Uh, if I even get that is that first army. Cool. Right here. Let's crack on. We could withstand and wait to see what happens, but Empire, they're all bug to hell. They're they're fun. Once you learn their and how things how things it's like in Rome Total War, you you'd be able to learn if you put an archer on a certain wall position against a certain siege target, you know that they will set fire to the siege tower before they hit the wall, regardless. Or if you get, you know, a guy who stood on the siege tower but he wouldn't come off the battle tower and destroy it, or... Yeah. So they have a mortar, so I need to be careful about that. Oh, this is a, this is a beautiful, beautiful position. and a giant American Grand Battery on the ridge. Deploy. Out as close, firing quick climb. Our assault forces. To be honest, it might be numbers might be better than... Because their melee attack is only a bit better. They're great at charging, but their melee attack isn't much better. The defence is the same. So I think I might value the extra 40-odd guys that the units give me. So I think I'll I'll bring one, just to kind of... Because I think I should. Let's place them in a bit of a defilade back here. But I think they'd be better off actually being used to secure the breach. Let's have a look. So these are our guards units, which look yeah, they look pretty nice. Our Republican guards look nice because they're all red. With like a emblem that kind of looks like a Japanese chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum? Chrysanthemum? Then of course we've got our cavalry that will just be waiting. And our general who will be up here in the safety. Because you first start cracking on a Can they hit the center with quick climb? I doubt it. No, it's just the corner. Even with round shot, they can't really hit that much. So, Fire the armor engine to get some shots off at my infantry. But we will for sure be able just to make some holes. Well, they've missed a lot. Too much. If I can make a hole in this corner, then I'm more than happy to just assault that and I'll set my guys to start. Probably trying to hit some of their artillery in the centre. Oh, they have. Oh, they, oh, they do have four mortars. They're just. Ah, oh, there you go. One, two, three, four. Let's speed up time while I make a breach, and my gunners just. My quick climb shots just don't really. Eh, it's not a bad amount of damage. Taking so long to fire. Foot artillery is normally pretty rapid. Yeah, see, what are you guys doing? You guys should be felling this section of the war with ease. Okay, what's the problem here? What are you guys not getting?
See, they're just not. Fire. They just seem really unhappy with just targeting that section of the wall. Okay, how about if I target attack ground the floor just below it? Eh. Trouble is, if they're accurate, they'll hit the ground just in front of it. I'll take it, it's better than nothing. It is nothing. They've done it again. I'm really confused as to why they're... Okay, I'm going to just set them to just attack. Attack the guys inside the fort, and then when they... Then I might even get my howitzers to do it. See if these guys like targeting the chaps inside the inside the city. Nope, am I doing anything? Aim at the unit on the wall, then maybe. See, my howitzers will do it. That's damn peculiar. Very peculiar. Hmm. Where are you guys? So what I'm going to do is, because this is just going to take a, a, an annoyingly... Oh no, there we go. <laughs> I was just about to cut and I'm like, ah. That's the sort of damage you need to do. Because I'm not so bothered about making sure we maximise our damage against the infantry particularly, just as long as we get as long as we get one of the walls down, that's all I care about. Come on lads. One last push. Because it makes quite a nice little breach, really, that little corner section. Assault. So we'll want to move on my artillery to get within to get in in a better position to engage. Okay, now let's see if if they still fire at will when I've given them a new target. Oh no, they do, yeah, okay, they are, so they will engage units in the centre. Okay, the Sifais are running, so let's go to these little chaps. Set them to run. Let's move down my cavalry. I think they're going to end the war with one swing of their sword. Put you over here, put you over here. And yeah, these are dudes with lances, so just do that. Managing really nicely to hit two squares at once. Yeah, the mutual support of the square. Yeah, 
Was it worth the self-sacrifice of all those men? I think not. Straight into the other square. killing my own men but okay I hear the I hear the, the bark of the mortars so you run in the middle and just keep them busy scale the walls scale the walls scale the walls scale the wall scale the walls You start dropping. Get you to cover up, capture one shoulder of the breach. You have no real purpose, so let's get Rage to throw you in. Come house is to do round shot. Drop them on the centre. Where's that mortar crew? Drop it on them. You secure that section of the wall. The rest of you in. Engage the armed populace. go now the grind begins Purely armed populace, they can charge through the gate. Hit the musketeers, everyone get in. And you. Well, to be honest, don't engage. If these guys don't want to go. If you guys don't want to fight, then just capture the section of the wall and pour musket fire down into there. So if we capture the gate. Nope. When we catch the gate, I'll just move in. Yes, 
There you go. You kill the unpopulars too. Just climb up. But this is where it's going to be. These poor souls. Okay, lads. I'm going to call on some precision quick lime support. If we can take this gatehouse, then I can storm this unit straight through the gap. Quick line support inbound. Yes. That's the sort of position they need to hold. Oh, here comes another one. They're dropping it exactly where they need to. Look at that all those chaps in there okay hold fire hold fire lads that was pretty effective so they're wavering I'm not surprised because there's a lot of troops out there That was a pretty damn effective. Ooh, hello. I have a gap. So I might just run in, clear these guys out, and then smack into the back of them. Poor souls. Hey, hold on a minute. The door's open anyway. Just, just go straight in. Although, you are fairly weak now, so... There are limits to what can be achieved. But I can run these guys in through this door. Precision quick climb strike. I need to be needs to be called in, which can do. Aim your guns carefully, man. Oh, see, the doors are open. They're not gonna. Steady lads, when they eventually fire. I don't quite know why I've still got this really. But I'll take it. Yep, some cavalry's running out to try and interfere with my operations out of the gate but to be honest enough of my lads are on the walls for me to not really care that much oh here comes the quick climb coming in oh and that's a lovely lovely shot immediately hold fire what have we done what damage have we done that's a huge amount of damage Straight at him. Straight at him, sir. Straight through the gate.
A lot of death over here. God, you probably... What's helping screw all this up is them trying to move around the fort like that. Let's take out their mortars. These guards are putting up a valiant but probably ultimately fruitless defence. Yes, it's fair, fair complaint from you chaps because you're almost all dead. Just in the fleeting moments from where the pathfinding doesn't grind everything to a halt. Oh wow. Their aim is to destroy the walls while I sit on them. Okay, come on. So if we knock out them. If I just run a unit past them, does that help at all? Yeah, they see the dilemma. But if I lose an army taking this city, that's why I've used three to attack it. Let's just run them past. Come on. This army finished them off. Will this unit finish them off? You. Finish that guy off. Because there is a guy somewhere. Engage the Orta. Okay, building lost, so I've probably lost that gay house. Yeah, that's fair enough. Bring these guys into a position to fire onto the central combat. See, with these guys just set them up here. These guys are engaging the garrison muskets that are coming their way. See, with them, they can join them. Engage, my man. Uh, so there is a handful of these guys up here, which is what's made it still not be mine. Go for the general rule. Get this unit to run onto the centre and form square. You go for the general. You should... I don't, know, I don't know what you're doing. Whatever they're doing, they're going to get char charged. Just mob the lancers then, I suppose. Go for the general's bodyguard. Get into the centre spot. 
and form a square and promptly shoot at everything you can see. been a bloody fight in the centre and yeah it's fair enough garrison guards there are far there are not enough of you surround and mob the lancers the general's been killed Straight into the back of the armed um, populace that's holding the flank over there. The square formation is going to be more than enough to hold the formations off, to hold these musketeers off. Because this has been an exceptionally bloody battle. But it's been worthwhile. That guard unit's held up three full units of garrison troops. I did want to garrison this, but it's all far too weak. Ah, they finally charged me. God, this, they're coming from everywhere. They're like little angry bees. Okay, Household Cavalry, come over here and help me rid these musketeers. The lances are wavering. Reinforcements are here. Oh, wow. Kill these last garrison musketmen. They dead. Also, go and engage that unit of musketmen. Expat infantry, come round here and then hit that garrison musket. There you go, lances are no good when you've got them cornered like so. Let's bring more guys to bear on the musket fight in the centre. Deploy! These men are kids. They're staying safe. There we go, and we hold the centre once more. Household cavalry chase down the musketeers, and you form up in that direction. Wow, I got fly. Form up. Form up. Mm, they finally did make a breach. Seven infantrymen. Protect them! Those seven men! They're, the, they're like super veteran. And it's how they've survived this long. Yeah, they're finally... The 102nd are shattered with four men. That's where the 135th have come back. And the city is ours. Well, will be ours. Let's bring the cavalry out. And you, my friends, 
They're going to stay there and not do anything useful. And you're the first Delaware charging in. What are you shooting at? Oh, there must have been a fragment of the routing musket troops. Don't bother seeing they're doing make ready fire. It's a more stuck. But let's end the battle there. Phew. The siege of Essing or have opened the beginnings of our next theatre of war. Oof, that did give that was a hammer in, that was. So we've opened up a new border. Once, once, one with the Savoy, who we will move on aggressively with, with this army. One with this army, which we will move aggressively up to Afghanistan in the north. And now let's make sure... Okay, you're going to have university. Carpet mill, carpet mill, factory. Do you not have a university? Yeah, you do. Where is it? There it is. Knock that down. If I knock that down, you'll kind of hate me. Then I'll probably have to knock down one of these wealthy areas to build a... Um, a church school starting to try to convert the population. So, I mean, you're sat there not really doing anything because you've got this massive Maratha navy which I don't really want to fight. So that's why they're going to stay bottled up. So if anything, I'm probably going to take Nathaniel Winthrop. Set you to hit Naroon. Because you will move there in your own good time. While everyone else continues to drive in the right direction. Cool, you're laying assaulting Chechnya. Yes, sir. Come on. I want you to assassinate someone. They've driven in and taken Moscow. Okay, I'm going to start funneling you down here. You're already going in the right that direction. You are going to go up here to help with the fight against the Russians. You're reinforced, you're reinforced. Kerlingsburg is ready. Well, not ready. This army is going to go hit Parnu, this Russian army here. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part because that was a long siege. But radio, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time when we clear out this Estonian port from Russian forces. Cheers, guys.